día jueves. En esta sesión... So let us go on with the second part of LACNOT session. We'll have three speakers here. We'll start with the MANAS conference. And the topic will be secure routing by Pablo Logues Ailar, who has a master's degree in cybersecurity and currently is the associate director of the integrity, Inter integrity program in the Global Cyber Alliance. Pablo, you have the floor. Hello, good morning. It is a pleasure to be here and share this project with you. I guess most of you have heard about it. It's called MANAS. This is a project that has been in development for 10 years now. And before going into the details of what MANAS is and the need for implementing MANAS, let me set the context of the current situation. As you are aware, to date, in the internet, the internet we know is composed by 76,000 autonomous systems, which make internet what we know as today. Each autonomous system uses the protocol B, called BGP. It builds its own roadmap of the internet using this language. In addition to that, there are more than 970,000 IP prefixes which compose the internet. And BGP is the fundamental protocol used for the entire system. But what is the point? BGP was created many years ago in 1989 prior to security becoming a concern. BGP assumes that all networks are trustworthy and you don't need and worry uh, where uh, the, the security wasn't an issue. But I recall that the problems was that everything was results-based and we didn't consider adding security layers. The result, the outcome was more important and not worry about other things such as security. But as we are aware, today we have many hackers and cyber attacks and BGP hadn't been conceived with that aim. So it was subject to attacks, human attacks, and also subject to more technical attacks. So I'm not going to explain the types of attacks we have in routing because you are already familiar with these. But we have to highlight that attacks are very frequent. And we have so many examples. We have route hijacking in 2008. Uh, attacks uh, occurred in many places. Amazon, uh, YouTube was attacked. Amazon was hijacked. And there's a very famous case, which is the Google case, Google ISP. It's Nigerian ISP main one, which was quite dramatic. Then there's another example, which is a case of spoofing. So uh, these are malicious attacks that replace packets, and these are many attacks of and these are examples of cases that occur every day. So what happens with internet security? There are so many networks, and ultimately protecting one network is not enough because the other network and might make the entire set vulnerable. Therefore, it is important to be aware that we all play a fundamental role in internet security. Internet is a set of networks. But if one is protect, if one is protected, does that imply that the others are not? Uh, so you can have vulnerabilities 
and therefore it is important to protect every single network. So how can we find a solution to this problem? As you're aware, regulation doesn't really work. R regulations have their own regulations uh, available in every country. Sometimes there are disparities in the way standards are implemented. In Spain, if we have a regulation and they have a different type of regulation here, it might lead to not having a common standard. And these are global issues, so regulations can be a limiting factor when promoting a global more secure network. So these would only be providing segmented solutions. So what would we have to do in that case? A standard that it has to, it's a norm that has to be widely accepted and also this should not be so difficult to achieve. If you have ISO 26000, in, is an, uh, and is very expensive, but manners is way beyond, below this. So implementing manners is far more feasible in terms of security. And quite obviously, this has to be visible and measurable. This is having a good practices norm. So this is the manners project. Manners has two main pillars that have to be taken into account to understand its relevance. One are the norms. There have to be norms. A norm is not a set of best practices. A norm defines what, what is required so that the networks are more secure. And the set of best practices define how, how to achieve that goal. So the norm is what and what we need, the how. Manners is not a set of best practices. Manners is what is necessary to do so that my network is more secure. Then we have the actions that did have to do with the norm. And then we also need the commitment of the community in the sense of the intention of applying these norms. So what do we need? It is defined, and then the community has to commit itself to apply these norms. Manners is addressed at four different profiles, as you can see on the screen. The initial program is common sense because the main target uh, the network operators, although others have arisen as we can, we go along. The network operators program was is from 2014. Then we have the Internet Exchange Points 2018. The content delivery networks and cloud providers were the target in 2020. And then we have the network equipment vendors 2021. These are examples of manners actions for network operators. These are four actions. Three of these actions are uh, mandatory, these, uh, mandatory to become a manners, um, to implement manners. And then we have the fourth action, which is anti-spoofing. If you're a network operator, you have to follow all these actions. And at the Global Lands, we conduct an audit but the fact that you implement the actions doesn't imply that you are ready. We use information and we help you to really comply and enforce all these actions. So we work together with the operators who use manners. And I say this because people don't wish to apply to this option because they don't have the minimum threshold, but many people apply for this. We provide feedback and we say, well, you still need to do this, other tool. So we help you reach the necessary threshold to become part of manners. Basically, these are different action categories that are necessary for the programs. As I said, the network operators have four options for actions, but the IXPs 
have another series of actions and the vendors have another set of actions. So overall, all the actions that compose mountainers, including the four typologies or types of entities that can apply to be part of mountainers are defined here. This is a mountainers community. Here you have a graph showing of the manners participants. As you can see, there are quite a number. But if we look at the context, there are still many networks that are not included in manners. So there is still a lot of room for improvement to have a more secure internet. This is a global effort. This map shows the presence of manners in different countries the perimeter of the circles, the radius of the circle measures the penetration in each country. The larger the circumference, the larger the presence of manners. Manners is presence in many parts of the world. Some countries have adopted this to a larger extent compared to others. So why join manners? This is quite clear, of course. But ultimately, the fact that you are perceived as a secure entity is also relevant has to do with your reputation. They consider that you are worried about security, and of course, that is relevant. And quite evidently, this contributes to the security of your network. You improve your operations, and ultimately, this is the image you convey outwards. This also helps your own organization, and you convey this message outwards as well. So this is of fundamental importance. And Maud Manners is not a static project, ultimately. It is important to understand that this is a constant evolution. So the community has to become involved and contribute to updating the needs of the networks in order to improve security. As I said previously, Manners is the minimum requirement to consider a network more secure. In addition to that, there are yet further steps, more advanced steps. This is a low risk and low cost. It's not a complete solution. It's not a final solution, but it is a major step at a low cost and over a short period of time, you can drastically improve your network security. So how does MANAS measure, do the measurements? MANAS is an observatory. Everything is publicly available and transparent, as I mentioned previously. We use publicly accessible data. It, the networks don't need to interact always with the observatory. So it's transparent, it's passive, no cooperation from networks is required, and it is constantly evolving. The MANAS community then decides what gets measured and how. This slide shows the overall status of the networks globally. We have the concept of MANAS readiness. These are all the actions required and the percentage to which the actions have been implemented globally. In the case of filtering, it's performing quite well. And spoofing, the numbers are quite good, except for RPKI, which is 42%. This slide here shows the situation in Paraguay. In Paraguay, filtering is great and spoofing. There's room for improvement, coordination two, and IRR and RPK. So this is a picture of Paraguay as at September 2024. This is another way in which we can show this. These are the four actions. And this compares the global performance of the MANAS participants. So everyone appears here. That this is a global performance. We see how Manus is performing. We see the case of LACNIC, and we see the case of Paraguay. 
LACNIC in terms of RPKI is a bit low. And then you have all the different performances in this graph. And this is what you would view when you access the laboratory. This is a case of LACNIC. You can filter 100% for, for example, and there are other actions that you can use and we noticed and we realized where there is room for improvement. And this is a bit more of the same thing, but this is manners readiness. This is shows the different ASNs and how each is performing in the different actions contained in the program. So now, as you're aware, manners was created in 2014 on an ISAC initiative. And we now have 1,100 participants across the globe. It is not so much, but as I said, there is a lot of room for improvement. So there is yet a lot to be done. We started with this program. We now have four different programs in place, and the website of Manners contains all the material you need awareness raising, and all the other topics. And as we said earlier, well, we launched this in 2014, and now in the new Global Cyber Alliance, the, uh, we have been transferred the operational part of the project, and we are developing it. So, and now the time has come to say, well, what what is the Global Cyber Alliance? Well. It's uh, we there. Uh, everybody's there. Well, uh, it it's had a global impact, um, and there are many programs, and um, there um, internet integrity. That is where manners uh, belongs, and then uh, the uh, capacity and resilience that and they work together because from a broad point of view, they need it. It needs to cover the infrastructure, and that's what happens to us. <laughs> that uh, we it ends uh, the end users, but we don't uh, have uh, we don't consider so much the infrastructure and uh, and there we develop tools to enable the empowerment of the end users to be more resilient in the case of cyber attacks and uh, different profiles or uh, journalists etc. So we have a uh, different. Uh, uh, tools uh, for those uh, typologies of people so that they can prepare their, their preparedness. But we must also consider the infrastructure because the, the, because the quality of the data that reaches the end user is relevant in an ideal world. Um, well, there's a responsibility by the structure to control the quality of the data that reach the end user. So um, the Internet Integrity Program seeks to improve, to, to have a direct uh, relation so that the quality of uh, the data of the Internet uh, at the end may be much better. We have the Manners Program, and uh, we have a, a network of honeypots that analyze a lot of data. And we have over 7,000, 7 billion lines of attacks of events that we use for research purposes and also to show those that are the source of the attacks that something is happening in the internet and the measures they should adopt to um, um, stop those uh, cyber attacks. The IPs, there are IPs that are all year round attacking and nobody does anything about it. So the, we need to uh, have a conversation and find out why those things happen and put an end to them. And then we have another project that um, is uh, for malicious domains um, where and uh, we keep an eye on the potentially malicious domains. And here, as I said earlier, here you have all the information in that website. You have all the uh, Manners information with a tutorial. If you are not in Manners yet, well, there you have all the information to follow the actions uh, recommended and 
If you have any questions, you, it's uh, very likely that you'll find an answer there. And if not, I leave you my contact data. And so, the manners tutorials, well, also, we are available to ask questions and more of what we said at the beginning. If finally, the security perception is good for yourself, but also it's good vis-a-vis -vis the rest of the people. It uh, has an impact on your reputation, and that is an essential thing. And finally, I wanted to tell you that now we it's elections time of uh, the uh, steering committee of uh, uh, manners. If you want to participate, it's, uh, the steering committee is a very important committee because they represent the manners community. They know where to lead, uh, and they are the leaders of the project. Now, there are elections, and if you consider that you can contribute to the manners community in the future, well, I would love it if you can scan that QR code. There's a form to apply. We validate it, and the elections are on November the 11th. So, and until the 5th, uh, you, we have uh, um, the uh, possibilities open uh, to register. And I invite you to be part of um, manners and uh, to uh, be part of the steering committee, and the results will be uh, on uh, will be announced on uh, November the 17th. Well, rather on November the 20th. So here you have the information. Here you have my mail. It's been a pleasure. It's uh, to to help you, and uh, you can contact me. Uh, remember that. Uh, what our mission is to make more secure internet. Thank you, Paolo. Thank you, Paolo. Están todos asociados a Manners, así que no tiene ninguna duda. So uh, apparently there are no doubts. Bueno, entonces, gracias, Paolo.